Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a paradiddle play along. So if you want to practice your paradiddles, get out your practice pad and your sticks and you're going to you can play along with me. So I have my metronome here at 80 BPM and I'm going to run through three different subdivisions over the paradiddle. So I'm not going to speed up or anything, but because I'll be playing three different subdivisions, uh, the paradiddle is going to be going faster and slower depending on the subdivision. So if you're new to paradiddles, then this first one should be fine. It's just eighth notes um, at 80 BPM. So here we go. So the thing about paradiddles is the pattern is very simple. So it's just right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and over and over again. But the reason why drummers work on their paradiddles is to develop technique. So that's kind of the whole idea. So there isn't much purpose to practicing paradiddles unless you're working on your technique. So if you notice the motions I'm using, it's down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap. And on the accent, on that first strike, call that a controlled strike. So I'm catching the stick in the back of my hand and striking off the drum. So that's um, a technique that's that I developed in the molar technique. And, and it's a really great way to practice your paradiddles and really, really useful for your actual drumming because once you can get a handle on these motions by doing these paradiddles, then eventually it'll cross over into your drumming and you'll, you'll have a lot more control and have a lot better sound on the drums. So here are the motions again, down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap. So don't let the stick fly out of control, right? It's not like this. I'm letting the stick fly back. Nothing wrong with that, it's just for now, because we're going slow, we don't need to let the stick fly up so high. So I'm going to control the strike, keeping it down here sucking it in the back of my hand, keeping all the fingers connected to the stick. Alright, so the next subdivision that I'm going to do is in triplets. So that's a bit of a tricky one. If you've never played paradiddles in triplets, you might want to pause the video and click on the link in the description box. I have a video that's dedicated just to playing paradiddles in triplets. It's a bit tricky because paradiddles is four strokes and triplets is a subdivision of three, so they don't quite line up very well. So they can be a little bit more tricky. But here we go. So the thing about um, paradiddles and triplets really feeling that triplet subdivision. So it's a really good idea to count triplets while you do this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. But in terms of the technique, it's the same as in eighth notes. Still controlling that accent just as I was in eighth notes. All right, next one is sixteenth notes. Here we go. So these 
things are pretty fast, so I don't want to be controlling each each stroke like I was earlier. I'm really getting that pivot. You can work on hands separate for this. That's really helpful because you can really sort of zero in on the motions that way. So that's about it. Those are the three subdivisions. Once you get to that level where you can switch from one subdivision to the other without stopping, it means that you have a lot of control over the subdivision and the rhythm as well as the technique that's involved. So that's kind of the meter of success with those three subdivisions if you can play a set number of bars, either four or two, and switch seamlessly between the subdivisions. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to learn more about your technique, I have uh, several online courses that I've put together. You can uh, check those out in the link in the description box. If you want to get a feel for the lessons before buying any of them, you can sign up to my free molar technique mini course, uh, where there's six basic exercises that will get you started with your technique. And if you enjoy it, then you can take it to the next level and sign up to one of the courses. All right. Hope you have a great day. Take care.